The technology placemat is an 11 by 17 inch piece of paper designed to help with technology training and support the infusion of technology in professional growth and development. Using paper, we avoid the conundrum of learning how to use technology through the technology you are trying to use. We encourage you to use the placemat as a piece of paper, mock it up, highlight it, and take notes on it. Three technology buckets are focused on in the placemat. iPads, which are the devices we choose to put in the hands of students. Schoology, which is our digital learning management system, or LMS, and Google Drive, which is our digital content management system, also known as a CMS. Google Drive includes a full cloud-based office suite, much like Microsoft Office, but free. All three of these technologies are highly intuitive. We wanted to let the placemat be your short, succinct manual that allows you to dive into many different tasks and to accomplish them quickly, thereby gaining a sense of control and autonomy that inspires future learning. To use the placemat, you only need seven apps, all of which are free. They include Schoology and the Google Suite Chrome, Drive, Docs, Slides, Sheets, and finally YouTube. To get familiar with the placemat, first an icon is used to indicate how those three buckets, Google, Schoology, and the iPad, can be used. We use the icons to help you get a visual bearing on the placemat. These icons help you identify which task it is that you want to accomplish, for instance, using a video. Each task then shows you which of the three technologies you're going to be using for that specific task. What is written in the white space are the very specific steps that you need to do in order to complete these tasks. Each white space will begin with an in followed by an icon. This will tell the user exactly which app to begin with. In the example in this video, we are saying in the camera app on the iPad. Followed by a sequence, each with a picture or an image which you can find on your screen to complete the task. For each task, we try to have multiple ways in which you can accomplish the same task using each of the three main technologies, whether it's the iPad, Schoology, or Google. Some of these are very basic and straightforward, but others may be more complicated, but more impactful that blend the combinations of the iPad, Google Drive, and Schoology. To date, at the time of this recording, these are some of the tasks that we will help support on the placemat. If you want to use the iPad too, take a picture, mirror what's on your iPad screen onto a display such as a TV or projector so students can view it too by using the software Air Server, or how to download a free app. The placemat can show teachers and students how to optimize Schoology for use on an iPad. If you want to integrate third-party applications for use like backing up iPad photos that you have taken to Google Drive so that your iPad storage is freed up and to ensure you are the only one with access to the photos that were taken, by connecting the YouTube app to Schoology so students can search for videos in a safe, secure environment without ever leaving the teacher Schoology course, or by connecting Google Drive to Schoology to allow teachers and students to quickly upload documents and PowerPoints already created into their online courses. The placement also shows teachers and students how to take a video on an iPad, upload a video from your iPad to your Google Drive, use a YouTube video in a Schoology page assignment or quiz, or create a YouTube playlist, which is multiple videos that play one after the other, and access that playlist in Schoology. If you want your students to do research and stay compliant with copyright and citation guidelines, we can show you how to do that 
with Google Scholar. Using the placemat, teachers will learn to capture notes as a photo of a white or blackboard or even just a piece of paper with an iPad. They will capture notes in an electronic document, which you can share collaboratively amongst several individuals, or as a teacher annotation to a student submission in Schoology. Also covered is reporting on classroom events by using video, by capturing audio instead of text for a submission to a Schoology discussion or assignment, by capturing images in Google Slides and through the use of speaker notes, identify the purpose of the images. If you want to, in your classroom, facilitate a discussion using a discussion board in Schoology, using assignments in Schoology, or using student work in Google Drive inside of a media album in Schoology and allowing students to comment or review, if you want collaboration in your classroom, the placemat will show you how by sharing a Google Doc or by sharing a Schoology resource with another educator either inside of your building, in your district, in your nation, and even with international teachers. The placemat can also show the teacher how to embed a web-based calculator, such as the Desmos or Smarter Balance calculators, into a Schoology test or quiz. Teachers will also learn how to gather students' information by using analytics for an assignment in Schoology, by taking a poll, or by using Schoology Mastery to view if all of their students are learning the content they're teaching. If teachers want to differentiate for their students, they can do this by creating grading groups in Schoology, by individually assigning an assignment or a quiz to a specific or a group of students in Schoology, by allowing students to have an individualized Google document built especially for them. If you want to give informative feedback to students, you can do this by creating a rubric, customizing that rubric, or aligning to set objectives and standards. When you first see the placemat, you will see that it looks messy, but it contains a lot of information and tasks. If you take it in small, chunk-sized pieces that align with your objectives, it becomes easier to navigate. To learn more about the technology placemat, you can go to tinyurl.com forward slash BSD tech placemat. And there you will always find the most recently updated placemat as we are constantly making this better. The student placemat, which has a lot of the same things that are on the original placemat, but geared toward what students would be using the placemat for. One thing to point out is that we include a section in there to help students protect their identity, such as logging out of the Google and Schoology accounts and wiping all of other evidence from the iPad itself. We also created a Hello placemat, which is an introduction to the larger placemat, but it has very four simple steps to get you started. They are very sequential and is the type of resource that teachers can use within their schools to help other teachers get started on the placemat and in using the district technology.